Hello, my beautiful Pisces friends. Brandon, Fire Daddy Tara, for us cards for you today, Pisces. Thank y'all for being here again with me. Make sure that like button again, Pisces. All your support, all your subscribes. I love you to death. Can't do this kind of stuff without you. I want to ask Source tell me see and speak clearly for my Pisces friends today and help Pisces see and hear what they need to see and hear out of this for their highest good. Go on uh, general reads this week. Thank me about anything. Whatever comes out, Pisces, we're going to see what happens. I got the Terror of the Moon Garden to play with. It's a fun deck. Thought I'd switch it up this week. Let's see what we got. Card, please. Seven Swords. Youch. Oh, sneaky. Is somebody sneaky? What's going on here? What's going on? Two Pentacles. Sneaky Juggler. Looks like somebody juggling you and somebody else. There's definitely seven swords, though, and it's two pentacles. Definitely card about, could be about balance, but in this it's about a balancing act. A balancing act, balancing you and somebody else. Balancing you and somebody else. They was a juggler, weren't they? What we got, Pisces? What's going on here? The fool's here. Walk away from them, didn't you? I mean, freaking fool. Went on a new adventure by yourself, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing here. Doesn't even look like you thought about it much. Looks like, hey, found out you were sneaking around only with somebody else, and I'm gone, homie. What we got, yep, death card. Old cycles ending, new cycles beginning. Scorpio and Aries energy on that. Scorpio and Aries are big Scorpio energy in this deck, because this deck's very uh, watery, it feels like to me. Um... But yeah, full death card. You walked the hell away from that juggler, man. Sneaky individual, didn't you? Sneaky juggler. Page of Pentacles. They might have had some earth in their chart. Page definitely talked about immature individual. Walked away from sneaky old uh, earth page, didn't you? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Somebody might have had some of that in their chart. That's what I'm getting here. You walked away from... Uh, Sneaky page, sneaky page. A couple more of these cards for Pisces, please. A couple more of the Moon Garden Tarot. Pisces today, I mean, this, uh, this deck's brutal sometimes. It loves to eat energies like this for breakfast. People like that. Sneaky individuals, individuals that do you wrong. Moon Garden Tarot, fun deck. Fun deck. What do we got? Pisces, what's going on here? So we can get the rest of the story about this page. I mean, they definitely left you five of cups. Their old uh, sneaky seven swords behavior, sneaking around on you, juggling you and somebody else. Get you five of cups. There's a bunch of spilled cups on that. Pisces, man, I'm sorry. This probably hurt. Yeah, the world's here, though. World's here coming out. Like I said, this card can also be about balance, bringing things back into balance. Let's say you walking away probably did bring your world back into balance. This definitely says they were a juggler. They were juggling you and another individual. Uh, your fool's journey here, your uh, new path. It's about working on yourself. Possibly working on your coin. That's the Eight of Pentacles there. It's card about putting in hard work. Coming out on the fool, that's what you're up to right now, Pisces. Five swords coming out on the death card. So you definitely cut them off there, man. Definitely cut them off. There's a struggle, like a mental struggle possibly with yourself. I think when you found this out that they were uh, sneaking around with somebody else, it probably caused a lot of mental anguish. Sorry about that. Now, there's some more page energy coming out on top of that other page. There's page of swords. Page of swords here. Good Lord. I mean, this person, pagey page down here. It's also possible they were messing around with somebody younger or immature, too. It could be a couple, like, partiers down here. But uh, you cut it off. You said enough was enough, Pisces. I think that's great for you, my friend. I love it. <laughs> Excuse me. The incense is getting to me. I cracked the door, but it really didn't help much. All right. A couple of uh, Astro Oracles from my Pisces friends on this today. Pisces found out somebody was a juggler. Page down here with some uh, earth, maybe a little bit of air in their chart. 
Pisces found out Pisces want a new adventure by themselves to um, work on themselves and maybe their financial world. Death cards here. Old cycle ending, new cycle beginning. It's definitely done. I don't see them trying to come back either. That's a good thing. Venus, beloved. Probably where you're at right now, Pisces. Just taking care of yourself, working on your own world, working on your money situation. That's what it says here. Working on your world. Taking care of yourself. I like it, man. It's good for you. It really is. Second house, resources. Like I said, down here working on your world, your resources, stacking up your coin and just doing you, man. You said enough of that shit. Maybe that person was in your money, too. I don't know. Root. Root right there. If you are working on healing yourself, that'll probably get to the root of the problem of attracting in energies like that in the first place. So I'd say you probably already know this, but stay single for a while. Take care of yourself. And heal all the way before you try to be in a relationship with anybody. That way you can attract in something that you deserve. Somebody that's going to treat you good and treat you right, man. Because I know you're probably going to treat them right. At least you try to. Looks to me like you try to take care of them with that resources card there. And uh, now you're taking care of yourself. Love that for you, my friends. First house arrival. Yeah, the end of the cycle has arrived here. It's coming out with the death card and at five of swords. It's arrived. New cycle's coming in, too. You got the fool there, man. Feeling on your own new cycle, it looks like. And the sun. Heck, yeah, the sun says source. Source gonna take care of them fools down there. Whoever that person was. Source gonna take care of you, too. Source, your ancestors, God. Whatever you believe in is gonna protect you from energies like that if you let it, Pisces. If you let it... I see you healing here, my friend. I think that's good for you. So you're working on your world and probably stacking up coin. Very nice. Very nice. All right. Yin-Yang Oracle on this for my Pisces friends today, please. Just one Yin-Yang Oracle. We'll read here about uh, Pisces walking away from a cheater, a juggler. For you, Pisces, and going out working on yourself and healing. Confusion and illusions. Yo, that sounds to me like this shit would have went on for a while. Maybe you kind of intuitively felt like something was going on for a while, and it took you a while to actually catch them up in it. Because sometimes it's hard, especially with manipulative people, to call them out on stuff and actually have them tell you the truth. They'll just tell you you're crazy and shit. But when you actually catch them, all bets are off. And that's, I'd say, what happened here. You caught him. Somehow you caught him up. Could have been a message. Could have. Seen him out, walked in on him. Somehow, you caught him up in it. You walked away, Pisces. No more confusion for you, my friend. No more illusions. Hell yeah. Anyway, Pisces, you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more like this, check this video out over here. The YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.